Welcome guys, Demo here at Perfect Gaming Guides, bringing you part 2 of my Grist playlist series. The playlist covers the full 100% walkthrough guide of the game, including all 17 achievements for a 1000 gamer score. The full game can be completed in around just 2 hours guys, and is really easy to complete. In this second video, we will be covering off part 2 of the game, and we will gain a further 4 achievements, which are the Sandstorm achievement, Anger achievement, Anukshuk achievement and the green achievement. Okay, let's do it. So when we drop down into this new area guys, we want to head left. And we're going to pick up this memento here. Remember guys, we need to collect all of those as that's a missable achievement. Then we're just going to turn and head to the right. Now there's a sandstorm is going to blow up here guys, so we need to be undercover each time that the wind gets stronger. And again this is a missable achievement guys, if you get struck by the wind and roll back you should restart this chapter. To give you an extra bit of time guys, if you've got the vibration switched on on your controller, as soon as your controller stops vibrating you can actually start moving. Head down into this cave and we're going to pick up a star. Wait here until the wind flares up and goes away again guys before you make your next move. When we get inside this, we're just going to make our way right up to the very top, guys. And we're going to drop down here and pick up our next memento. Then just make our way back up to the top of the stairs again and just wait until the wind dies down before we make our next move.
when we drop into this area guys we can see that there is another memento there but we can't actually get to that one yet we need a new ability before we can grab that so we will come back and get it in a moment just wait in the cave until the wind dies down again guys then we make our move Jump up onto this platform and that's going to start another short cutscene. So that's given us a new ability where when we press and hold X our player turns into a block and what that does is that's going to stop us from getting blown away in the wind so if we press and hold X during the windy period that's going to stop us from getting blown away what we also can do is use it to smash through things as you can see we we'll just jump on there and that allows us to smash through this area that's got the sort of cracked rocks once we've got that memento we just head back out of this cave as soon as the wind dies down again. When the wind starts to pick up this time guys, we're going to press and hold X and turn ourselves into the block. And we can keep moving while we're doing that. Just keep moving to the right while the wind's blowing. Once we make it into this area, our achievement for Sandstorm will pop up. Any area that is breakable guys normally shakes when you walk over the top of it so it gives you a, a bit of feedback to let you know that that's going to be breakable. Just keep heading right for now and we wait until this rock sort of moves back towards us and we're going to jump on top of it to get across this gap. You can see above us there that there's another memento guy, so we're going to grab that. Just make our way up and then head over to the left. I'm going to have to head all the way to the right as well. There's a few bits in this game that's a bit tricky to figure out what levels that you can actually jump onto and which ones that you're just going to fall through. So we make our way up over to the left and then over to the right and we need to use the very top level here and we're going to let the wind actually blow us across so that we can pick up that next memento. Once we've got that we can just jump back down and start heading back to the left again.
And you'll see what I was talking about there, guys. When you stand on top of this, you can see it sort of wobbles because it's breakable. So we smash through that, we hit it a couple of times using the X button, jumping and pressing X. Then we'll get this second area that we need to smash through. And there is an achievement in this area guys that is missable. So you need to be careful that you don't try and smash too many things here. You're looking to break the three sculptures that I land on here. So if you just follow exactly what I do, you will get the next achievement. So we head over to the right first. We're going to jump up onto this sculpture here. And we smash it. Let me jump up onto the pots to go up onto this sculpture and we smash that. Then we make our way over to the far left. And a sculpture here. We jump up onto it and smash it. And that gives us our anger achievement. If you're finding the walkthrough guides useful guys, please do me a favour and hit that like button and the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it guys as it helps the channel grow. This takes us out to a new zone and we're just going to head to the left here guys. Make our way up to the top of this tower where the windmill is. going to use one of the arms of the windmill to get across to that ledge on the left. When we reach this area guys, there are stones piled up, so it's Inukshuks they're called. We need to trash all of those, so we need to smash them. So we're going to jump and press and hold X again, and that's an achievement as well guys, if we get all of those in the game on this level. I just needed to wait until that boulder get out of the way so that I can smash that one guys. Then use the boulder so that we can jump up to this level up here. Smash this one as well. Now there's a bit of a puzzle here guys. There's a machine in the middle. And you can see that when you land on that central section it sort of dipped a bit. So we just need to make a high jump onto that and smash it. That's going to start the machinery in motion. Then we make our way over to the right and we're going to smash this stone tower as well. Next we're going to make it up to this now moving part and we're going to head over to the left because we can reach that because we've got the stars. Break this stone tower just keep heading left guys. So you can see there's a star up the top there, we need to go up and reach that.
head over to the left first by tipping that over. That gives us a chance to get up to this area up here. Pick up the star and then we're just going to head back the way we came. And we're going to tip the, what looks a bit like a ship. We're going to tip it back to the right to allow us to get up to the windmill. Then we're going to jump up onto the stones to the left of the windmill blades and then we're going to jump up onto the blade itself. As you can see over at the right there we have we have another memento there, so we're going to use the blades of the windmill to get across to that. Grab that and then we can just head to the right and drop down. Back across the way that we came in. Now that we've got that extra star, this area to our right is now open to us, so we're going to head across there. Smash the stone sculpture and then head right. the stone sculpture in this area here guys and then just keep heading left then up onto the top of this area we can see that we can smash that so we break that that gives us some stepping stones to make it across this area here another sculpture for us to smash there jump across to the right and this will pop out to save us and that allows us to get the next memento and just go back the way that we came, back across the stepping stones and up onto this top level here. Make our way to the left and break this stone sculpture. another puzzle here guys so we need to hit both sides of this central part at the same time turn into a block and that's going to start the machinery going above us head left and you'll see that there is a stone sculpture just down in the bottom left corner there so we're going to break that We're going to head across initially to the left here. So there is what looks like a hot air balloon to our left here guys and it's a bit of a, it's like a timing puzzle. So we're going to set the balloon free by first of all making our way to the bottom and breaking that and that sets it loose. Then we're going to make our way back up to the top of the stairs. And if we jump onto this area of the sort of short platform at the side of it, turn into a block, that's going to drag the balloon back down. We can jump across and get that star, then jump back again. What we need to do is turn into a block again here, guys, and take it as far down as it will possibly go. 
and the reason we need to take it as far down as possible is we need to get up to that top level where the balloon is. So in order to do that we take it to the very bottom and then we run as fast as we can back up the stairs and jump onto that top level of the balloon. That's going to let us reach those stones to our left now. We jump across there and now we're going to smash and break this boulder here. That gives us some more stepping stones and allows us to make it across to the left to get our next memento. Head right now guys and just basically head back in the direction that we came. This time we're going to use the levels to make our way across to the right and hopefully you won't fall the way that I just did. ran past a stone sculpture there guys but I catch it on the way back out you need to exit the way that you come in there so if you've seen that I ran past that there and you smashed it well done head up here and this moving rock that's below us here we just need to time when it gets underneath us that we jump and smash it open guys creature that's inside it is going to run over to the right and just follow him. And he's going to jump inside this boulder here and he's going to raise it up for us. That's going to allow us to grab our next star. And we can just head back the way that we came. you'll see the rock sculpture that I missed on the way up to that area guys and smash it here. So we'll make sure that you smash that one. Now we're going to use the levels to get up to the star area up the top. So we can use that to follow the path over to the left. Immediately as you get across there, there's a sculpture for us to smash. Only another couple of those to go guys, they're just above us there. Head into this caved area here and we're going to smash another two sculptures. And up pops our achievement, Inukshuk. We need to press that centre section of the wheel guys and to do that we need to do it with quite a bit of force. So we need to make our way all the way to the very top of this wheel for it to have enough force to actually press the button and switch it on. to the edge of here and we're going to make a jump or you can just turn into the block and just walk off the edge. That's going to start the wheel turning and it's going to raise the whole platform that we're standing on. We just make our way across to the right.
use these stepping stones to make our way across here. And when we make it to the hand, another short cutscene starts, guys. And up pops our green achievement, guys. And that ends part two of the playlist, guys. I hope you found this video useful, please give the video a like and a subscribe to the channel would be really appreciated as well guys. I'll hopefully see you in part 3 of the playlist where we'll complete the next stage of the game and we'll gain some more achievements. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.